If you see these signs, the Holy Spirit is in you. Greetings, and may the Divine bless you, my beloved brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit has led you to this message today because God wants to reveal the indisputable signs of His presence in your life. We all long for a deeper connection with our Heavenly Father in order to experience the guidance and comforting power that comes from being filled with His Spirit. However, occasionally we may wonder, how can I discern? In this video, we will investigate 10 obvious signs that the Holy Spirit is actively at work in your life. As we discover these divine markers, May your faith be strengthened in the knowledge that God's promises are true and that He is faithfully leading you on a journey of spiritual growth and transformation. Your support enables us to continue spreading the truth about God's love and the extraordinary ways in which He wants to make His presence known in the lives of His children. May God bless you abundantly and fill you with the unshakable certainty of the Holy Spirit's indwelling presence. One of the most obvious signs is that you develop an intense craving for God's Word. The Bible no longer presents itself as a dry, old-fashioned compendium of narratives, but comes alive for you in a new and powerful way. Verses that you may have read over and over again suddenly take on new meaning and relevance, leaping off the pages and directly touching your heart. The Holy Spirit clarifies the Scriptures giving you a broader understanding and perception. You come to understand how God's Word applies to all areas of your existence, your relationships, your work, your struggles and joys. This craving for the Bible transcends a mere intellectual interest. It becomes a deep desire of the soul, a need to be nourished and fed spiritually, just as your body needs food and water on a daily basis. You recognize that your spirit needs the sustenance of God's Word to grow and thrive. You keep a Bible app open on your mobile device, ready to dip into it whenever you have a few free moments during the day. As you read and meditate on God's Word, it begins to seep into your thoughts and shape your perspective. You look to the Bible for wisdom and guidance as your first instinct when faced with decisions or challenges, and in your conversations with other believers, Scripture is a frequent topic of discussion. You enjoy sharing what God has taught you through His Word and hearing what others have learned. Your Bible can become well-worn and scarred as you delve into it daily, engaging in a continuous dialogue with God through the living and active pages of Scripture. This deep longing for God's Word cannot be manufactured or faked. It is a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit within you which draws you closer to God and aligns your desires with His. The Holy Spirit will use the Scriptures to shape you, convict you, encourage you, and challenge you on your journey of faith as you seek to know and follow Jesus more deeply every day. You experience a deep conviction about sin. This is not just a superficial feeling of guilt or shame when we make a mistake. It is a penetrating awareness that our actions have grieved the heart of God. The Holy Spirit, as our helper and guide, illuminates the truth of God's Word and helps us to understand the seriousness of sin. We feel a heaviness in our conscience, a heaviness that goes beyond mere regret for the consequences. It is a divine heaviness that leads us to true repentance. In these moments of conviction, we are fully aware of our need for God's grace and forgiveness and we feel a strong urge to confess our sin in order to bring it to light and acknowledge it before God. Feelings of pride and self-justification often conflict with this, but the Holy Spirit gives us the ability to humble ourselves, recognize our faults, and seek forgiveness from the merciful God. True repentance, brought about by the Holy Spirit, goes beyond simply apologizing. It is turning from sin and turning to God. When we repent, we declare our desire to abandon our old behaviors and live in holiness. The Holy Spirit urges us to seek righteousness, to desire to please God in all areas of our lives. This cycle of conviction, confession, and repentance is continuous as we grow in our faith. The Holy Spirit continues to reveal aspects of our lives that need to be surrendered to God. Although it is sometimes painful to confront our sinfulness, 
It is also liberating, as we feel the burden of sin being lifted and experience the joy of a restored relationship with God. If you regularly find yourself experiencing this deep conviction about sin, it's a good sign that the Holy Spirit is at work in your life. Embrace this process knowing that God is molding you into the image of His Son. Seek the Spirit's guidance, confess your sins, and walk in the freedom and holiness that Christ has won for you. In doing so, you will grow in your love for God and in your desire to honor Him in all your actions. My dear friends, one of the most profound indicators of the Holy Spirit's work in your life is when you find yourself overflowing with love for others, even those who are hardest to love. As Galatians 5.22 reveals, the fruit of the Spirit is love. This love goes beyond our human limitations and enables us to extend grace, compassion, and forgiveness to all people, regardless of their actions or attitudes towards us. When the Holy Spirit fills your heart, you begin to see others through Christ's eyes, recognizing that every person, no matter how imperfect or broken, is created in God's image and deeply loved by Him. This realization softens your heart and gives you a supernatural ability to love even those who seem unlovable in the eyes of the world. For example, the rude co-worker who constantly belittles you or takes credit for your work. You pray for him, seeking to understand the pain or insecurity that may motivate this behavior, and look for opportunities to show Christ's love. Or consider the annoying neighbor who seems to intrude on your life, gossiping about others and causing a ruckus. Instead of avoiding or retaliating, the Holy Spirit moves you to reach out with a listening ear and a kind word, inviting them in for a chat or a cup of coffee, seeking to build a relationship and demonstrate Christ's love in tangible ways. Perhaps the most challenging test of the Holy Spirit's love is when we are called to forgive those who have hurt us deeply, such as a relative who has betrayed our trust or caused us great pain. At such times, our human nature tends to cling to anger and resentment, but the Holy Spirit whispers to us, forgive, just as Christ forgave you. The supernatural ability to love others is a clear sign of the Holy Spirit's action in your life. It's not just a passing feeling or emotion. It's an unconditional and sacrificial love that seeks the good of others, even if it comes at a cost to ourselves. This love reflects the very heart of God, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son. As you allow the Holy Spirit to shape you, your words, actions, and attitudes will increasingly reflect the character of Christ, and others will realize that in you there is a love that transcends this world a love that can only be explained by the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. So if you find yourself overflowing with love for others, even the most difficult to love, rejoice. For this is a sure sign that the Holy Spirit is alive and active in your life, conforming you to the image of Christ and using you as a beacon of His love in a wounded world. This courage is not the result of His own initiative, but of a divine empowerment that comes from the presence of the Holy Spirit. We witnessed a striking example of this transformation in the lives of the disciples before Pentecost, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit. There was a remarkable change. The previously fearful disciples became bold and fearless proclaimers of the gospel. They faced hostile crowds, endured persecution and imprisonment, and spoke the truth with unshakable conviction. The Holy Spirit instills in you a holy confidence to share your faith without fear or hesitation. You may feel a renewed desire to engage in spiritual conversations with others, eagerly seeking opportunities to share the good news of Christ where before you might have avoided defending your beliefs or answering challenging questions. The Holy Spirit equips you with wisdom, discernment, and the ability to express your faith clearly and persuasively. In addition, the Holy Spirit can inspire you to step out of your comfort zone and invite others, whether it's inviting a friend to church, sharing your personal testimony, or offering to pray with someone in need. You realize that you are acting with a courage that seemed unattainable before. This boldness is not the result of your self-confidence or natural charisma, 
but a manifestation of the Spirit's work in you. It is a supernatural courage that emanates from a deep conviction in God's love, in the truth of His Word, and in the urgency of the Gospel message. You feel increasingly impelled to share the hope, joy, and salvation found in Christ, recognizing that it is not you who speaks, but the Spirit of your Father, speaking through you, in a world that often opposes or rejects the Gospel message. This allows you to stand firm in your faith, Proclaim the truth with love and be a light in the darkness, drawing others to the transforming power of Christ. So if you are experiencing a new boldness in sharing your faith, rejoice, for this is a clear sign that the Holy Spirit is at work in you, enabling you to be a faithful witness for Christ. My dear friends, another profound and transforming sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in you is the experience of a peace that surpasses all understanding as Jesus promised his disciples in John 14, 27. This peace is not merely the absence of conflict or a passing sense of calm, but a deep and lasting serenity that remains unshaken, even in the face of life's most challenging circumstances. Consider the moments when you receive a devastating diagnosis from a doctor, which could potentially change the course of your life. However, when the Holy Spirit dwells within you, an inexplicable peace envelopes your soul. Even in the face of the uncertainty and gravity of the situation, you are filled with a supernatural calm, a feeling that defies human logic and understanding. This brings an unshakable security. Although the practical concerns of providing for yourself and your family persist, you are filled with a deep trust in God's provision and guidance. At times of loss, such as the departure of a loved one, someone you trusted and loved deeply, the hurt, anger, and sense of abandonment can be overwhelming. However, even in the midst of this tearing pain, the peace of the Holy Spirit transcends the pain and gives you the strength to forgive. Release the offense and find healing in Christ's love as you go through these trials and tribulations. People around you can marvel at your unshakable peace. They observe the serenity that emanates from your countenance, the calmness and assurance in your words, and the firm faith that sustains your actions in a world often dominated by fear, anxiety, and agitation. This peace is not your achievement, but a supernatural gift granted by the Spirit of God. It is a peace that emanates from the very heart of Christ, the Prince of Peace, who has promised to give his followers a peace that the world cannot offer. With Christ, you become a channel of this divine peace, allowing it to permeate every aspect of your life. In the midst of life storms, the peace of the Holy Spirit becomes an anchor for your soul, keeping you firm and rooted in the truth of God's love and faithfulness. For the Comforter is with you, bringing comfort, strength, and hope. So if you find yourself experiencing an inexplicable calm in the face of adversity, a peace that transcends circumstances, rejoice, for it is a clear sign that the Holy Spirit is at work in you, fulfilling Jesus' promise and enabling you to face life's challenges with steadfastness. Embrace this precious gift, allow it to fill your heart, and be a testimony to the world of the presence of the living God who dwells in you. Another powerful sign of the Holy Spirit's presence is a spontaneous overflow of worship in your daily life, as you go about your daily activities. Suddenly, you may find yourself singing heartfelt songs of praise while driving, doing household chores, or simply walking down the street. These impromptu moments of worship spring from a deep wellspring of joy and devotion that the Holy Spirit has placed within you. Your spirit becomes so attuned to God's goodness and majesty that you can't help but express your praise. Furthermore, when the Holy Spirit is active in your life, you develop a desire for prolonged moments of worship. You long for those intimate moments when you can pour out your heart before God without distractions, whether through personal devotionals, prayer meetings, or worship gatherings. These moments of worship become essential for your spiritual well-being invigorating your soul and strengthening your connection with the divine. In collective worship settings, 
The influence of the Holy Spirit becomes even more evident when you gather with other believers to exalt the name of Jesus. This insatiable appetite for worship is a clear indication that the Holy Spirit is at work in you. It is a testimony to the transforming power of God's love and the presence of the Holy Spirit within you. By yielding to this divine impulse and making worship a central part of your life, you will find yourself growing closer to God, experiencing deeper levels of intimacy and discovering the true purpose for which you were created, to glorify and enjoy Him forever. One of the most notable signs of this indwelling is the development of a keen sensitivity to the Spirit's guidance, as Jesus promised in John 16 verse 13. When the Spirit of truth comes, He guides you into all truth. This guidance becomes more and more discernible as you walk in intimacy with God. At first, the Holy Spirit's whispers may seem faint or unclear, but as you nurture your relationship with Him through prayer, worship, and immersion in His Word, His voice becomes more distinct. You begin to recognize the subtle ways in which He communicates. A gentle impulse to reach out to a stranger, a sudden desire to intercede for a specific need, or a clear sense of direction when facing a decision. This heightened sensitivity to the Holy Spirit's guidance is not a mystical or ethereal experience, but a tangible reality in a believer's life. It's as if your spiritual senses have been awakened to tune in to heaven's frequency. You begin to discern the subtle whispers of God guiding you on your daily journey. This guidance can manifest itself in various ways, sometimes as a soft, gentle voice within you, urging you to act in a specific way or to share a word of encouragement with someone in need. At other times, it can be a strong impression or a feeling of discomfort that leads you to avoid a certain path or decision. As you learn to trust and obey these promptings, you realize that the Holy Spirit not only guides you, but is also a faithful companion, present at all times. The more you submit to the Spirit's guidance, the more you experience the peace and joy that come from walking in harmony with God's will. You find yourself making decisions that may seem contrary to conventional wisdom, but which are grounded in divine direction. You become a channel of God's love and faith, leading your community and radiating His light to others. Developing a keen sensitivity to the Holy Spirit's guidance is a lifelong journey, requiring humility, obedience, and a willingness to take steps of faith. As you cultivate this sensitivity, you discover the incredible privilege of being led by the Spirit of the Living God, experiencing a life of purpose, power, and intimate communion with your Heavenly Father. Another powerful sign of the Holy Spirit's presence is a deep and overwhelming burden for those who are lost and don't know Christ as their Savior. This burden goes far beyond a passing worry or occasional thought. It is a constant, agonizing pain that weighs on their heart and mind. Friends, work colleagues, and even strangers you meet, the realization that they are separated from God and on a path towards eternal damnation grips you with urgency. You fall to your knees in fervent prayer for their salvation, crying out to God to open their eyes to the truth of the gospel and draw them to himself. Even when your efforts to share the gospel are rejected or seem fruitless, you refuse to give up hope, trusting that God is still at work. This deep burden for the lost is not something you can carry on your own. It is a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit in your life, aligning your desires with God's for the lost. So if you feel an unshakable desire to see the lost saved, be encouraged, as this is a clear sign of the Holy Spirit at work in you. God's will is that none be lost, but that all repent. By aligning yourself with the Spirit in what is most important to God's heart, you will experience the joy and purpose of being a laborer in the harvest. Previously, you might have felt helpless in the face of sin's seduction, but now, with the Spirit's presence, you discover new strength to resist these temptations. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit is our helper, enabling us to say no to sin when tempted. It's like having a divine ally fighting by your side, 
strengthening your resolve, and helping you to stand firm in the face of adversity. This is illustrated in the story of Joseph in the Old Testament, when he resisted the advances of his master's wife and escaped temptation. His ability to resist was a clear sign of the Holy Spirit at work in his life, giving him the strength to stand firm and the wisdom to remove himself from a dangerous situation. Whether it's the temptation to lie, cheat, covet, or any other sinful behavior, the Holy Spirit will enable you to walk away. By yielding to the Spirit's guidance, you will find a freedom and victory that seemed impossible before. This doesn't mean that temptation will disappear completely, because as long as we live in this fallen world, we will face various temptations. However, with the power of the Holy Spirit, we are no longer slaves to sin. We have the ability to choose righteousness, to say yes to God and no to the devil. By exercising this power consistently, we will see our character being transformed into the likeness of Christ. So if you feel a new strength to resist temptation, rejoice, for this is a clear sign of the Holy Spirit at work in your life. One of the clearest signs of the Holy Spirit's active work in your life is the growing appearance of spiritual fruit, as the Apostle Paul wrote in Galatians 5:22-23. You will see that these qualities are gradually growing and maturing in your life. It is a continuous process of transformation, as the Spirit shapes your character to make you more like Christ. This fruitfulness is not something you can produce by your own efforts, but is the natural result of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life, as you remain in Christ, surrendering to His leadership and cooperating with His transformation. It is clear that you are experiencing the signs of the Holy Spirit's active presence in your life. This is a transforming experience that cannot be underestimated. Every aspect of your spiritual journey, from your growing sensitivity to divine guidance to the manifestation of the fruits of the Spirit, reveals the depth of the work going on in your heart and soul. Over time, you have been led through a spiritual journey marked by a series of telltale signs of the Holy Spirit's presence. From renewed steadfastness in the face of temptation to a deep burden for those who do not yet know Christ, each stage has been a tangible expression of divine care and guidance in your life. Now, more than ever, it is important to recognize and value these signs as clear indications of God's love for you and his commitment to guiding you towards the fullness of life in Christ. By embracing these signs and allowing them to shape your spiritual journey, you position yourself to experience an abundant and impactful life, where you become a living channel of God's love, grace, and truth to the world around you. So may these signs of the Holy Spirit in your life be a continual source of encouragement and strengthening as you move forward on your spiritual journey. May you continue to grow in intimacy with God, deepening your understanding of His love and purpose for your life. And may you never underestimate the transforming power of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life and in the world around you. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.